Hello, readers. I'm here to bring you the person that wrote a book and lived. Wait, what? We're not doing that anymore? Uh, okay. We were here to bring you Krista Lacey, the author of the book The Fire Eternal, but unfortunately, due to budget cuts, we had to hire some amateur underage actors instead. Good evening. So, why did you decide to write The Fire Eternal? Is that what this is? I thought we were here to listen to heavy metal. No, wait, what? Heavy metal? Your role says you're supposed to be like 60. 60 year olds don't listen to heavy metal? Fine. Oh, the fire eternal? That was, um, one of my childhood fantasies. And every time I read it, the book speaks to me, calling me back into my daydreams. Okay, wait, so you had dreams? About many dragons? Don't judge me! Besides, some of them did cool things. Cool things? Like what? Well, one would poop jelly beans. And did you eat the jelly beans? Well, of course. I have to eat imaginary jelly bean junk. Um, well, okay. What is your personal favorite part? I liked when the dragon started dancing on a rainbow. That's in the book? Oh, wait, what? Oh, the book. Nope, I was talking about my daydreaming. Oh, uh, well, okay. Tell us about the plot. Well, it's a split story between a household struggling to make do with all of its members fighting. The house is also home to a witch and several dragons that go on humorous adventures. Then, in the second part, a trio of polar bears head to the Arctic to find the dragon's eye and save the world from destruction. Wow, that's the first serious answer we've had this interview. And how does it end? If I told you, then some people won't buy the book. Also, all the fans would be complaining about spoilers. And we have the internet to consider. They could get the exact quoting on Wikipedia, so I don't think it's worth it. Well, thank you, child actor playing Chris DeLacy, for your time. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week to see why the author of The Fire Eternal daydreamed about dragons when he was young. Only on WDC, the only TV station where we don't care.